Tonight, we now know more about an early morning tanker explosion that killed the driver. Police say the driver of that SUV was going the wrong way on a one-way street when the two collided, causing that driver to run into a gas station sign. A short time ago, that driver was booked with negligent homicide. WDSU's Casey Ferran has that story. Just before we hit the corner, massive explosion. We were really confused at first, like, what's the sound? It was a diesel tanker truck exploding after crashing into this sign outside the Quickies gas station on North Claiborne and Franklin Avenues. Judah Nero was just getting home from work. We immediately panicked, saw that the truck was on fire, whipped around the corner, parked the car, came back again because my buddy's dogs were in the house right by the gas station. Fire crews were called here around 2.30 this morning. When the first crew arrived, the cab of the diesel truck was fully engulfed in flames. As they hooked up within the next two minutes, the tanker exploded and burst into flames. Flames shot about 100 feet into the sky. The extreme heat melted nearby signs and traffic lights. Terrifying, massive, you know, flames shooting up to the sky. And it was one of those moments where you just kind of, you know, gets locked in your memory forever. The 24-hour gas station was evacuated, as well as residents within a half-mile radius of the store, while fire crews waited for the fuel to burn out so they could get close enough to determine if the tanker driver made it out alive. Police say the driver did not escape his cab in time. He'd struck a black Acura SUV before his truck smashed into the convenience store sign, knocking it down, his truck exploding. The woman driving the SUV was going the wrong way down a one-way street. On your side, Casey Ferrand, WDSU News. And the pictures you saw there, that fire that raged for hours this morning, fed by the fuel inside that tanker. Now, fires like this one can be tough to fight, and that's because all of that liquid feeding the flames, which can burn as hot as 2,000 degrees. Now, keep in mind, the material that gasoline tankers are most often made of, aluminum, can melt when temperatures reach just 1,200 degrees.